Welcome everybody to the Latin Nerds Network. My name is Jose and this is my review for The Expendables 4, this franchise that which refuses to go away. Of course, starring Sylvester Stallone. I remember when, when this franchise first started, it was kind of a cool idea. You know, Stallone gathering these, uh, you know, OGs of action films for the most part, 80s, 90s, and kind of give you a little nostalgic bomb, if you will. And I, I think I kind of enjoyed the first one. Second one was whatever. The third one, which came out about nine years ago. So it's been a while. I honestly don't remember if I saw it or not. So obviously, it, if I did see it, it wasn't that good because honestly, I forgot about it. And after seeing this one, I really wish I could forget about this one too. And I hope that really happens very soon because this movie, it, it, it's crap. It's just dog shit. I don't know what to tell you, man. You know, and like I said, I'm not the biggest Expendables fans to begin with. But, you know, this one here, of course, you know, bringing back Stallone. And, you know, we have uh, Randy Couture back again. Dolph Lundgren, of course. We got new, new additions, I think 50 Cent. This is his first time appearing in this franchise, Megan Fox. We have Jason, Stath uh, Jason Statham, who, of course, we, he's seen in this films before. You know, kind of gathering that, you know, that, you know, special ops team out, out on the mission again. They're trying to stop, uh, you know, an organization who's stolen uh, these detonators to a nuclear bomb and trying to blow up Russia, start World War Three. blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Um, you know, we've seen this kind of stuff before. And, and listen, let's be honest. We know what Expendables is. It's supposed to be this silly kind of over-the-top action film and all that. But... This one just didn't work, man. This movie is just shit. I don't know what to say, man. I was kind of, I was hoping we get some decent action. I'm a huge action film a fan, particularly. We had Tony John this, who I'm a big fan of. If you guys are familiar with his work, we got uh, Aiko Weiss, if I'm saying that right, uh, who's fantastic. If you ever seen the, the movies The Raid and The Raid Part Two, which I believe Netflix has both on right now, some of the best action films I've ever seen. So it's very exciting to see this infuse of, of younger talent, uh, and, and they're wasted. Yeah, they're wasted. Eh, whatever. I mean, then, then, then I give them the dude the credit, which you know, I wish American audiences could see more of these guys, and we've seen them a little bit here and there. Um, but this movie doesn't do them justice. And and honestly, because at the end of the day, this is an action film, so I'm gonna judge it by the action, and and it's bad. It's just bad, isn't it? A bunch of CGI. Uh, it looks like this. Not a green screen. Very basic kind of action. It's shot terribly. Like quick cuts. Really weird ed <coughs> editing. Excuse me. You can't really, sometimes it's too quick. You don't get to really enjoy what you see on screen, particularly with this kind of talent. And Jason Statham, who's really good at action, you know, he has some cool scenes here and there, don't get me wrong. There's some, not all the action is terrible, but for the most part, it is. And some scenes are just so utterly ridiculous. I mean, it reaches Fast Fury's height ridiculousness, particularly this one motorcycle scene, uh, jumping scene on, on, on a ship. It's awful. It's just laughable. It's very bad, very corny, stupid one-liners and jokes that don't really hit. And it's just, it's just a big dud. It's a big dud. Listen, if you're a big Ex Expendables fan, I hope you guys enjoy it. Go and watch it. Enjoy it. Praise it. Drink afterwards or whatever. Or my recommendation, drink before. So this movie probably would be better, to be perfectly honest with you. You know, if you're not big into Expendables, you like good action films, this is just not one of them. It's not. It's unfortunate. It's, it's unfortunate. Uh, you know, the writing's really bad. Dialogue is just... It's, it's, oh, my God. It's, it's awful. Um, and, if, and there's two... Kind of reveals twist you see coming a mile away. Before the movie even starts, you can probably just guess what's going on. It's 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 just it's just dull. It's laughable. It's really bad. Not well put together. I, I hated this movie. I I can't wait to forget about this. And I hopefully I do. Hopefully in ten years when part five comes out, I could begin by saying I don't remember seeing if I saw the fourth one or not. And hopefully I can say that because I really don't want anything to do with this film anymore. It's bad. I wish I wish I can tell you better, but it's bad. Avoid it. Again, if you're a huge fan of the series, enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. That being said, you guys go watch it, comment below, let me know what you guys thought. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.